Hi everyone, this is Lori here with Lori Hooks. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me today. So today's video is a yarny catch-up video. Um, I do have a finished object and I have a item in progress that I'm working on. And uh, I'll do a bit of a life update at the end. So um, here we go. So I am wearing my finished object. I finished my knit cardigan. Um, it's been a while since I recorded. I probably finished it, I'm gonna say about a week and a half ago. Um, so this is a beginner knit cardigan pattern by Ashley Lillis, and she has the pattern for free on her website as well as a video tutorial for this sweater. Um, the yarn that she suggests using for it is Lion Brand uh, Thick and Quick. I had this Lion Brand, excuse me, Respun Thick and Quick, and this is what I used. So this is a recycled 100% polyester, and the color is Sunshine. And there is... 12 ounces, 340 grams, 223 yards, 204 meters on the skein. So this is my third skein. So I used two full ones and a bit out of this one, as you can see, it's it's still got quite a bit in here. Um, I would say probably well over half the skein is still here. So not much, uh, you know, I didn't really need that much yarn. I think her pattern called for... I'm going to say it was the half, it was the smaller thick and quick skeins, and I think she called for six or seven. So I bought four um, of these respun, and so I have a full skein plus that half um, to find another project to use for that. So that will be something I'll need to figure out in the future. I'm not sure what I want to use for, for but yeah. So this is my knit sweater. Um, it was, because it's a nice bulky yarn, it was a pretty fast workup. Um, the yarn feels um, nice, it's soft. Um, it's extremely warm, I will tell you that. I'm a little warm sitting here wearing it. Now, um, at this time of day, my house is always warm. It's um, fairly early in the morning here and I always, our heat is set to go down at night and then when it first comes on in the morning it heats the house up back to its normal temperature and at this time of day this room that I'm in is always very warm at this time so something about this room it's pretty warm but yet when I go when I'm finished recording I'm gonna go sit in my office my office is always freezing so you can't win you're warm over here you're cold over there it's just the way that it is so um, yeah so anyways, so I'm really happy with how the sweater came out, except for maybe the sleeves. The sleeves are slightly too big that I could have used a decrease in there, but the body is perfectly sized. Um, so it is what it is. I do like the this part of the sleeve larger anyways, but there's no decreases until you get to the wrist she has. Like for the body of the sweater, I used a 12 millimeter needle and for the um, ribbing on the cuff I used a nine millimeter knitting needle so um, it did pull it in enough but I would have liked my sleeves to be slightly smaller but that is my only issue and as a beginning beginner knitter I'm not good with pulling back and picking up my stitches again so um, I didn't even attempt it I did I did realize once I was working on the cuff that it was slightly too big but at that point I wasn't going to try to rip it back and instead I just made sure that I tend to usually make my sleeves a little too long. On this one I made sure that my sleeves were perfectly length. So yeah I'm sitting down right now so the sweater is kind of sitting up but they are perfectly length. So um, yeah and I used the, the length that Ashley had for her pattern. I didn't make it longer, I didn't make it shorter, I used exactly the measurements that she had for the sleeves. I did add a little bit of length to the body, maybe an inch or two, um, but yeah, that was the only changes that I made to the pattern. And so I'm really happy with my knit sweater, and I'm sure that I'm going to get some wear out of it this winter. 
So the next thing that I've been working on is my V-neck Granny Pop sweater. Um, this pattern is by MJ's Off the Hook. Um, it is a crochet pattern, um, and she has a whole bunch in this series. She has a cardigan. She has a hooded cardigan that has buttons in the front. She has a pullover. She has the V-neck, which is the one that I'm making, and it seems like there's one more, but I don't know what it would be. So maybe not. Maybe that's all of them. And the yarn that she um, did hers in, she did her, well, in all the sweaters, I think she made two. One of them was using prism yarn, which I decided to also use. Where did my prism yarn go? It's hiding. Oh, there it is. So for the body of the sweater, I am using this Mary Maxim prism, and the color that I got is blue denim. Um, I like the color. I partially picked it because it was on sale on Mary Maxim's website. It was $3.97 and the normal price is $7.99. So I thought that it was a really good deal. But I do like blues a lot and so that was upside down. So that's why I picked this color, but I really like it. Um, and this is my sweater so far. So she has you start at the top and work your way down and we're going to finish the ribbing in the V after the sweater is finished. So that part is not done yet, but I did do the ribbing at the bottom. And that was the last thing that I did was finish the ribbing for the bottom and then um, fastened off. And that was the last thing that I worked on on here. So I need to pick up the stitches on the sleeves and continue with the sleeves next. So I'm having a lot of fun working on this. It's um, a nice, mindless, great TV watching project, which, um, you know, my life has been pretty busy lately, so that's great. I also have, um, the other thing that I've been working on is my fall wreath. No, it's not done yet. It is almost done though, so you should see that later on this week. Um, but yeah, we're getting close to it, so it's my mindful project and right now this granny pop v-neck pullover is my mindless project so i really like it the color that i'm using for the ribbing is oh it's right here this mary maxim best value and the color on this is platinum so yeah so i'm really proud of this um, i'm enjoying working on it and yeah so for the body of the cardigan, I'm using a 5mm hook, I think, and a 4.5 for the ribbing, if I remember correctly. Um, I did finish the ribbing on the bottom. Today is Monday. I did finish the ribbing on the bottom on, I think it was Friday night or Saturday morning. I think it was Saturday morning I finished it. I just had a I was almost done on Friday night and I was going to try to stay up and finish it, but I still had about 10 rows to do and it was late so I went to bed, but I did finish it on Saturday morning while I was having my coffee. Um, and since then I spent most of the weekend working on my wreath and some other things. So yeah. So let's get on with life update next because I have been really busy. Let you know what else I've been up to that I don't have a lot really done crochet wise. Um, so update on the flood of my house, um, in terms of the renovations, they have finished the bulk of the renovations, the washroom where the flood actually happened. Um, they almost have that finished. They were, the bathtub came in on, I think Tuesday. So, um, the bathroom and the plumbing and all that was done on Tuesday or Wednesday and then um, Thursday, Friday, the room had to be, um, they had some drywall to finish in there and some mudding and they had to paint. They had to put the new floor in. Um, what else did he do? Oh, there was, they used a closet to access the back of the bathtub for the plumbing. He had to uh, repair the area that they used in the closet to access the back of the tub. Um, 
they put a third coat of paint on the walls in the basement because those walls, they were looking a little sparse. And um, they also decided last week to do uh, baseboards in the, like originally on the original estimate, they weren't doing baseboards in the upstairs hallway or bedrooms because those were not affected in the flood. But the new hardwood floors that they're putting in is thicker than the old hardwood. So um, our old baseboards were gonna look a little odd. So they did tear out the baseboards and put new baseboards in this week. Um, and for us, we've been doing a lot of stuff too. We decided since the majority of the house was being painted as part of the flood and because we've lived in that house for 20 years, um, one of the bedrooms hasn't been painted in the 20 years that we lived there. We painted the whole house when, before we moved in. Um, and it's never been painted like this one bedroom had never been painted since. The other three hadn't been painted in a very long time. Um, they were all looking a little dingy. And because the house is empty right now, we thought that it was perfect opportunity because the at this point we are waiting for hardwood floors. So we thought it was a good time to paint the bedrooms. So my husband and I and my daughter have been, um, you know, spackling walls that, you know, old pinholes for pictures and all these type of things in the bedrooms and painting, which I don't love painting. It's not very fun. So yeah, we've been painting the four bedrooms. We still need to do um, the trim around the windows and the trim around the doors and the doors themselves. We've also been painting the insides of the closets. Um, what else have we been doing? Oh, we decided that our lights look a little outdated, so we bought um, new lights for three of the bedrooms and for my husband's in my room, we decided that we were gonna get a new ceiling fan. So we installed the new ceiling fan. Um, we did paint the ceilings in the rooms first as well, so that was a step. What else do we do? Oh, and this week also they determined that the furnace needs to be replaced. So I'm waiting for the HVAC people to call me about the new furnace and give me details and timing for that. I'm just, I'm really hoping it's not going to delay our move because I'm sure that this is a very busy time of year for HVAC people. And I wish that they had done the HVAC test at the beginning so that we weren't waiting for it now. So I'm a little frustrated about that, but it is what it is. It's going to get done. And in reality, I would assume that the furnace would get changed in like a day that we could be there while they do it. I don't think that we need to really wait for that to move in, but I have to wait for the um, contractors and the insurance to confirm what's, what's, what's what on that, which whether we can do that while we're living there, whether or not we're going to have to wait for it, or I guess it'll depend a little bit on how long it's going to be because at this point we don't have a firm date for the hardwood we were told for the floors we were told mid-november um, which as long as it comes in by mid-november we should be moved back into the house by the end of the month which would be awesome we would like to be home for christmas um but i guess we wait and see that's way that all this is is a hurry up and then wait and see but it's like you know once that we have that date for the hardwood and I have a penciled moving date we're gonna need to start packing up here to get moved back out again so and although they will send packers um, you know we're gonna try to do some of it ourselves so that's part of it I mean unfortunately if we'd known in the beginning that we were gonna only be here for um, what's it been September October November that's three months we've been here and originally we were thinking eight um, we did unpack in such a way to be comfortable here for the eight months if we had realized that we were not going to be here for that long there are a lot of things that we probably would have left packed so um, it's going to make for additional packing when we go to leave, but that's, it is what it is. Um, there's nothing that can be done. We just take it as it is. 
So um, that's where the update is on life. Nothing else is going on with Rafe, really, like, you know, work, cook, clean, all those things. Oh, I do have one other thing. We went to my daughter's graduation this week, last week. Um, I don't have her permission to share pictures, so I'm not going to share pictures, but um, you know, it was a big moment for me as a mom to go watch your daughter graduate. Um, that my daughter's my youngest, so <sighs> she's an adult. My kids are now adults, and that just seems nuts to me. So anyways, um, I guess that's it for today. Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you next time on Lori Hooks. Bye everyone.